Hi friends, uh, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about partition and we will see a range partition. Before coming to uh, this range partition, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, we will come back to our partition. So, what is partition? It is a powerful functionality to logically partition objects into smaller pieces. Also, partitioning enables data management operations uh, such as data loads, index creation and rebuilding and backup or recovery at the partition level rather than on the entire table. This results in significantly reduced times for these operations. Now, why we are doing this partition? So, uh, one is performance. Partitioning improves query performance. In many cases, the results of a query can be achieved by accessing a subset of uh, partitions or rather than the entire table. Then, next is availability. Partitioning increases the availability of uh, mission critical databases if critical table and indexes are divided into partitions to reduce the maintenance windows recovery times and impact of failures. Here we can see Oracle provides the following partitioning methods such as range partitioning, list partitioning, hash partitioning and composite partitioning. In this video we are going to implement this range partitioning. So a little bit we will talk about this range partitioning. It's useful when data has a logical ranges into which it can be distributed. Uh, like a range of dates or a range of numbers. Sure, data is uh, mapped to partitions uh, based on ranges of partition key values established for each partition. Also, each partition has a values less than clause which specifies a non-inclusive upper bound for the partitions. Also, we have a max value literal can be defined for the highest partition. Max value represents a virtual infinite value. Now we will see this range partition using a real time example. So, first of all, we will create a table uh, with the partitions. We will create a table named uh, M. Create table, table name is M. Uh, we will uh, create three columns so for this. So one is M ID. We will use uh, as number okay then we will create m uh, date of joining as date then we will create m salary or we will give a number of six now we are going to give partition by range so this is the partition type what we are going to use here here we are going to use the partition key as M salary. Now we will create the partitions by values. Partition, we will give a partition name, we will give P1, okay. Values less than, we will give it 10,000. Next partition, okay. It's P2, values less than, we will give it 20,000. We will create P3, spelling mistake, okay. P3, values less than, 30,000 then uh, we will give max value uh, in P4 partition P4 values uh, less than max value now we will execute our query execute and here we can see table created 
okay we will verify our table we will give select star from table name is m we will execute it and here we can see no rows selected so we have to insert uh, some rows into this uh, table uh, emp or we will uh, describe this table uh, so that we can see the structure of this uh, table emp it's describe table name is emp we will come in this first line and we will execute this uh, describe emp and here we can see the details here we can see the column names and here we can see the data types what we used next what we are going to do we are going to insert some values uh, into a table emp and whenever we give this uh, emp salary uh, less than 10,000 uh, it will be stored in this partition p1 and when we uh, give uh, this uh, uh, emp salary less than 20,000 it will store in this uh, partition p2 uh, when we give less than 30,000 it will store in p3 and finally 30,000 and above will be stored in this uh, partition p4 we will insert the values and uh, we will verify it okay so we are going to give uh, insert into our table name is uh, emp so we are going to give the values so here emp id we have to give we will give a hundred then we have to give a date of joining sure we will give a single quote suppose a 09 Jan we will give a 2019 then now we are going to give the embers salary suppose here we are going to give a less than 10,000 uh, okay we will give us 7500 now we will uh, execute this uh, query and here we can see one row created we will verify our table emp here we will give select star from emp then we will run this query here we can see one row is inserted emp salary okay also we can verify each partitions so here uh, we inserted one row and this row will go to this uh, uh, partition p1 so even we will verify all these partitions we will verify partition p1 We will run this query so here we can see the result now we will verify the other partitions we will verify p2 here we can see no rows selected so now we will try p3 partition p3 okay we will uh, command this line and we'll execute it no row selected we will try p4 no row selected now we are going to insert some more values uh, so that it may go to these other partitions uh, we have to give uh, different emp salary maybe more than 10,000 20,000 and 30,000 then we will verify these partitions now we will insert another row in this uh, table employees we will copy this uh, query and here we will change this uh, emp id and here we will give the emp salary as a uh, 10,000 now we will run this query and here we can see one row created we'll command this uh, query we will check with our uh, table select star from emp here we can see uh, those two rows 
Now, where will be this uh, second row what we inserted? Here we can see we give a number salary as a 10,000. And in our uh, um, table, partition table, here we can see we given values less than 10,000 will go to P1. Then values less than 20,000 will go to P2. So we can see this uh, 10,000 will go to this partition P2 because its values less than 10,000. So it won't include this 10,000. It will go to the next partition. Then we will check our uh, partitions now. First of all, we will try P1, partition P1. Here we can see uh, returned one row. Now we will try with the P2. It's here. Select star from M partition P2. You will execute it. Here we can see the row. Now we are going to insert some more values. Uh, here we can see uh, those values. Uh, six more rows. 15,000, 20,000, 25,000, 30,000, 35,000 and 40,000. These are all different uh, M salary uh, what we changed. So we will execute this. So here we can see all these rows are created. Now we are going to verify our uh, table. First of all we will see our entire uh, table using select star from M. We will execute this query. Here we can see uh, the details of our uh, table M. Eight rows selected. Now we will verify our uh, partition P1. That means the employees uh, whose M salary is less than 10,000. So we have to execute this query. Select star from M partition P1. Here we can see the result. The employees whose salary less than 10,000. Next we will verify our partition P2. We will execute this query. Select star from M partition P2. Here we can see the details of the employees uh, whose M salary is less than 20,000. Here we can see the M salary 10,000 and 15,000. Next we will go to uh, partition P3. We will execute this query. Select star from M partition P3. Here we can see the result. Uh, employees details whose M salary uh, less than 30,000. Here we can see the M salary, 20,000 and 25,000. And finally, we will verify our partition P4. We will execute it and here we can see the result. Here we can see the details of the employees uh, whose M salary is 30,000 or above. Their information is uh, stored in this uh, partition P4. Here we can see uh, their M salary, 30,000, 35,000 and 40,000. Now we will see the query what we used uh, for this range partition. Here we can see we created our table M uh, with the partition P1, P2, P3 and P4. Also we given partition key as the M salary. Then we inserted different values into our table M. Here we can see the entire rows from our table M. Here we can see the rows from uh, the partition P1, from P2, from partition P3, and from partition P4. Yes. Dear friends, in this video we have seen uh, about a partition. Also we have seen how to implement range partition. Now if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.